So welcome to our roving crib service. I'm Reverend Andy and I've just had a very long and exciting journey all the way from Yorkshire up in the north to join you as your new vicar. And a big hi to everyone who's watching from Yorkshire because I know there'll be a few of you. So tonight we're going to have, uh, we're going to go on a journey together around all our churches, starting here at St James's Barton under Needwood as we hear again the story of the Nativity, the story of the birth of Jesus, which of course, like so many new things do, starts with a journey. Now we're gonna have some help on our journey from three uh, guests tonight. So um, I've got a donkey, I've got a sheep, and I've got a camel. But the thing is, these guys don't have names. They haven't got names at all. So I wonder if you'd like to name them. Would you like to perhaps message in with what you think the donkey should be called, what you think the sheep should be called, and what you think the camel should be called? And that would be great. And we'll let everybody know what their names are. First, though, we're going to have a Christmas carol. So please do sing along with Hark the Herald Angels Sing. As they neared the end of their long journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, the donkey was really relieved. Joseph was a bit worried, but Mary was a little excited and a little bit scared. She knew it was soon going to be time for her to have her baby, and she remembered the visit she had from God's messenger. When the messenger had said what God uh, what God's plans were and how he needed Mary to help to rescue everyone. Mary didn't know how she could do it, but she did say a great big yes to God. 
Yes, this was certainly exciting and scary in equal measure. Many people had come to Bethlehem because Caesar had ordered that everyone in the empire should return to their home to be counted. So the streets were crowded and the innkeepers were doing a roaring trade. Now Bethlehem wasn't a big place, but it was important because the ancient stories had foretold that the saviour of the world would come from Bethlehem. Mary was going to have her baby, a really special baby. So it was really important that they found somewhere to stay. Joseph was right, was right to be worried because there was no room in any of the inns. So they had to stay in a stable and that's where their baby was born. So I'd now like to invite Jonathan and Luke to come forward to our crib and put first in Joseph and Mary, and then the baby Jesus. Thanks, guys. And Luke, would you like to bring the baby Jesus in? That's brilliant. Superb. So before I say the prayer of blessing, Jonathan, what do you think the donkey should be called? What's your idea? Um, you, you don't know? Yeah. Something beginning with D? Can you think of a name beginning with D? Um, Have you got any friends at school that names begin with D that look like a donkey? Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, if you have, message in. Okay. So a prayer of blessing then for our crib. God, our Father, your Son, Jesus, was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib, which we have prepared to celebrate that holy birth. May all who see it be strengthened in faith and receive the fullness of life he came to bring, who is alive and reigns forever. Amen. Well, hello again. So uh, we're now here at St Michael's at Tayton Hill for the next part of our roving crew service but we're going to start this time with a song and I wonder whether you've uh, come up with any names for our donkey perhaps this song will help <laughs> Waiting. 
think about having um, a new name for our donkey, and I'm going to introduce someone else to you now. We're going to have a look at, uh, someone else is going to help me with this next part of the story, which is our sheep. Now, I know he looks like a famous sheep, but if you can think of another name for him, that would be awesome. Is he going to stay there? He is. I know how tricky you can be. So meanwhile, in the hills above Bethlehem, shepherds had been looking after their sheep. Sheep herding was a hard, tough life, but these hard, tough men had received a message, a message telling them to go to Bethlehem to meet a special baby who had just been born there, a baby who would be their saviour and Lord. But there were some that night who had been really busy, Angels are God's messengers, and the angels have been busy bringing messages to people of God's amazing plans. First to Mary and Joseph about their special baby, and then to the tough, hard shepherds who had been scared silly at the sight of the angels. And on top of that, the angels then sang praises to God for what he had done. Yes, the angels had been very busy indeed. So now we're going to put our uh, shepherds in our crib here at Tatum Hill. Thank you. Thank you. So a prayer of blessing for our crib here. God, our Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib, which we have prepared to celebrate that holy birth. May all who see it be strengthened in faith and receive the fullness of life he came to bring, who is alive and reigns forever. Amen. So we're now going to sing another Christmas carol. Please join in as we sing while shepherds watch their flocks by night. I love that hymn, um, While Shepherds Watch. Where I come from, we sing it to a slightly different tune. And maybe next year I'll sing it to that tune. It's the tune of On Ilkley Moor by Tat, but maybe, maybe another time. So here we are at St Mary's Dunstall. And it's uh, lovely to be here for the next part of our roving crib service. And I've got someone else to help me here at this one. And I wonder whether you would be able 
to uh, suggest a name for our camel. Because, um, as I say, none of our none of our helpers today have names. So, if you could message him with a with a name, that would be awesome. So, the next part of our story. There were some people heading for Bethlehem who had journeyed further than anyone else, even further than Yorkshire. Although some say that the wise men came from my part of Yorkshire, well, it does say, doesn't it, that they came from the east riding on a camel. But anyway, these men were so wise, they didn't even know where they were going. So they had to follow a star in the sky. The wise men were looking for a new king. So they looked first in the big city. The important people there said to look in Bethlehem, David's town. A new king would come from there, they said. But what they found there was not a king in a palace, but a baby in an animal feeding trough. But a baby who they knew would be a special kind of king. So they brought him special gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. So I'm now going to ask William to come and put our wise men in our crib here at St Mary's. So hello William, do you want to come and... Shall I hang on to your camel for a moment? Shall we have had two camels have a chat? Brilliant. Awesome, so that's number one wise man. Number two wise man. And number three wise man. And where are we put the camel? Awesome. Thank you, William. Do you want to wave to everyone watching? Give them a wave. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much, William. So now, a prayer of blessing for our crib here. God, our Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib, which we have prepared to celebrate that holy birth. May all who see it be strengthened in faith and receive the fullness of life he came to bring, who is alive and reigns forever. Amen. But our journey isn't over yet. So before our final bit of film, let's sing together Away in a Manger.
So here we are in an actual stable. Wow, and look who I've got with me. This is Abigail, the little one. Hello, Abigail. And this is Rennie Kins. There we go. Have a biscuit, you two. Ah, these amazing. And look at this stable. I think this is the probably the cleanest and tidiest and one of the most wonderful stable I've ever seen. And I'm sure the one that Joseph and Mary found in Bethlehem that night was a lot smellier and messier than these. But like Joseph and Mary, like the shepherds, like the wise men, our journey ends in a place surrounded by animals, hi guys, and straw. A strange place to end a journey. And a strange place to find the Son of God. A strange place for God to start his rescue plan for humankind. But when we think about how Jesus came to meet us just as we are in our messy and smelly lives, to be God with us, and how through his birth, life, death and resurrection, Jesus makes it possible for even the messiest and smelliest of us to become friends again with God. It makes total sense that that rescue plan started in a stable. This Christmas especially, it's not just that the nights are darker and colder at this time of year. Our whole year has, in a way, been dark and cold. With us not being able to see family and friends. With us living in fear of the virus. And with many finding life even more difficult, even more messy and smelly. So this Christmas, let Jesus do what he came to do in that stable 2,000 years ago. Let's let him enter our messy and smelly lives. To free us from our fear and regret. And to start an amazing, exciting journey with him. Following him into the future of our lives. With light, hope and expectancy. With love, peace and joy. This is the fullness of life he came to bring us. So, we're now going to sing a carol which talks about this very thing. We're going to sing together, um, O Come All Ye Faithful.
enjoy singing that carol. That is one of my favourites. So before um, uh, our final blessing, uh, just to say that um, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, there are services, so please look out for those and please come and join us if you, if you would like to. All I'd say is please turn up early to avoid disappointment because we've got limited numbers allowed in our churches because of COVID. So, um, but it would be lovely to see you on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And don't forget to send in your answers as to what you think um, our donkey and our sheep and our camel should be called. What are their, what, what do you think their name should be? Um, what do you think their name should be, guys? Oh, well, they, they're not going to give me an answer. So, a final prayer of blessing. With the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, the peace of the Christ child, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be yours this Christmas time and forevermore. Amen. So let's sing, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.